Hi gorgeous soul, welcome to your weekly astrology. I'm wearing the sunglasses because I've got the light shining right in my face, so forgive that. But anyway, here we are at such an exciting week. Yes, we haven't had this astrology for 500 years. It's full on, it's intense. It's quite a heavy lesson, but an opportunity for liberation as we have the Sun and Pluto joining forces. Ah, it's full on and intense, but it gives us a message of what's to come. On top of that, we have a very emotional full moon and lunar eclipse. Here's your weekly astrology. Oh my gosh, Capricorn, this is it. This is where it all begins. This year is going to be one of the most powerful in your life and it kicks off right now. It's really important that you pay attention with what is going on for you, what you want, how you see yourself. How are you going to wield this magic wand that the universe is giving you? It, for some of you, it's going to be tough. If there's any resistance to change, you may have a tough week. If you're ready to change and you're determined and you're taking responsibility for your life, a gateway could open. Either way, it is an ending of the way things used to be and the start of a beginning of a brand new cycle. An intense, life-changing, possibly more than one lifetime, changing reality is coming your way. Let's first look at the full moon, although one might say it's the least of the worries. But the full moon is in your relationship zone and there is an eclipse so you're like, hmm, there's a revelations coming to you about all your intimate relationships, your one-to-one -one partnerships, the people that you relate to. You're going to know what your heart feels. You're going to know the truth of what it means connected to your all your intimate and romantic partnerships and who you are within that. There's a whole rebirth coming for you. Of course, the Saturn and Pluto conjunction in your sign, there are no words for how extreme an energy that is. You're going through a process this year where you are seeing the truth and they're gonna, gonna be big changes in your life. And hopefully you're feeling like, right, I'm prepared to take responsibility for my stuff. I'm prepared to take responsibility to do the things I need to do to make this change happen. You've had this vibe around you of, of, of Pluto for a while. So you've gone quite a long while. So you've gone through many changes of who you are so that Pluto energy should be quite familiar to you there's probably been lots of changes and lots of shocks and not just lots of surprises you've had over the past few years but right now it's it's about harnessing those changes and building up the reality that you want and don't forget that Jupiter the planet of good fortune is also in your sign so for me that's a good omen for me you know that positivity that expansion that kind of optimism of Jupiter is going to help you make whatever changes you need to make. But trust me, changes are coming. You can't ignore what's not working for you. It is now time to let go of anything that's holding you back. It's your time to fly, but you're being pushed into it in quite a strong way. Amazing. Tell me what happens. Leave me a comment, you know, next week and tell me how you experienced this week, what came up for you powerful magic Capricorn this is your time possibly your whole lifetime there is intensity take care and I'll speak to you soon if you want to check out your written monthly weekly yearly astrology pop over to my website michellenight.com I'm not doing readings at the moment but I do have a company of some of the best psychics and astrologers in the world I've had the company for 20 years I handpick them and they are fabulous so I'm going to start to show you, starting now, their little videos on here. Hello, I'm Maya. I am a psychic intuitive. My vocation, I believe, is to work with spirit in order to hopefully help heal. The reading can be about romance, can be about career change, direction. It's very important for me that the client feels spirit with them and give some validations. So it was a psychic reading, not just a counselling session. What is great is when they come back again and say, oh, Mayor, you were right about that. You hit the nail on the head. How did you know that? But I always remind them, it's not me, it's spirit. I'm merely a conduit for 
for spirit, like a little kind of dial on, on the old radios that I've been given a gift to be able to tune into the frequency. The messages come from spirit. I like to class a reading as an oasis for the soul, time out where we can really spoil ourselves. Thank you.